back. You're watching Wealth Manager. Gold prices have crashed globally and are at the lowest levels in five years. Gold ETFs continue to give negative returns. In this scenario, what should you be doing as far as your gold buying and investing is concerned? Nitin Jain, CEO, Global Asset and Wealth Management joins me. Nitin, thanks very much for joining me on the show. Let me start by asking you, what is your sense of uh, how the gold price trajectory is going to go from here on? From 2013, mm -hmm. gold has been in a bear market. Right. We might be very close to the capitalization levels. Okay. I, I suspect that we might see another 5-10% down mm -hmm. and that might very much form the bottom of the gold prices internationally. Okay. So that's taking into account the uh, Fed hike that is likely to come in this year? Well, that's been the expectation for a long time mm. now. So it's not something that the markets were unaware of. Mm. It's going to happen now. So it's priced in? in I, I, I suspect so. I think okay. it's reasonably priced mm. in. Okay. So in India, of course, the festival season is coming up and gold uh, is uh, at very low levels right now. Do you think that the increase in demand will show a slight uh, upside in the short term? Definitely. I definitely think the demand will go up. Mm. But just remember that gold prices don't necessarily move classic uh, supply demand you know right. it's it's a lot of function of you know a global macros mm. Mm. how the currencies are behaving mm. because it's 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 an interplay of multiple currencies right so i would not correlate the two okay but the demand will definitely go up structurally though i think the prices would remain soft mm. over the next one and a half year mm. and it might not be a bad opportunity for investors to start you know uh, taking a small bet here and there. Right, that was yeah. going to be my next question. Do you think it's a good time for investors to in fact start looking uh, at gold from an investment perspective? Absolutely. I think I've been a bear on gold for quite mm. some time now. And gold will never form a very large part of your asset allocation. Having said that, India historically has been a very high inflationary economy. Mm. And in an inflationary economy, real assets are invaluable. Okay. So. A part of your asset allocation has to be real estate and a part of your asset allocation has to be gold. Okay. It is just a hedge right. against something going haywire, maybe something like Greece, if, if mm. something like that would happen mm. to a country like India, which can potentially happen, mm -hmm. not necessarily in today's circumstances, but you never know. Uh, this is your only safe heaven. Mm. So it should be maybe, I think around 10 to 15 percent of your asset allocation. Now, as far as gold ETFs are concerned, we've seen significant outflows for the last uh, couple of years, I think. And that sort of continues. It's been giving negative returns. So for somebody who is invested into ETFs, who has been facing the negative returns, what should they do? Should they book their losses and look somewhere else? Or should they continue to hold on or possibly, as you're suggesting, buy into gold at this point? See, what has happened has happened. Mm -hmm. Now, whenever you do any kind of asset allocation, you can never see what prices did I get in? Hmm. Basically, hmm. you can't drive a car using a, a rear view mirror, right? Now you have to look ahead. Hmm. At this point of time, I think gold is reasonably depressed. Okay. Uh, at these levels to get out, I think will be counterproductive. Okay. In fact, if at all, if I am, let's say, less than 10, 15%, I might be looking to add to the overall uh, hmm. allocation towards gold. Hmm. But I think that is a trick in any asset class. Hmm. You will see that people will typically increase their allocations when performance has been good for the last three, four years, which is actually very counterproductive. Mm -hmm. These are the times when everybody is writing these asset classes off when you should start to mm -hmm. take your structural mm -hmm. bets. Though a lot of commentators are saying, you know, doomsday for gold, mm -hmm. but I would urge you or I would urge the clients to, you know, start looking at that asset class seriously. Nitin, do you think gold is in fact losing its tag as a safe haven asset and uh, being replaced by the dollar? See, whenever you look at gold from a three to four year period, mm -hmm. it can give you a very, very uh, different picture. You know, gold or precious metals for that matter have very long cycles, eight to ten year cycles. And uh, so if you will just look at the last three, four years, maybe you're right. I mean, gold has been depreciating particularly in dollar, I mean, it has corrected right. on 2,000 to 1,000. So obviously anybody who's invested is losing. But that's not the way to invest in gold. Right. When you invest in gold, you should think about 20, 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. You're planning for your retirement. Right. You're planning for your kids, mm -hmm. marriage, education. Mm -hmm. And in which case, you're not buying your gold one shot, right? You're also buying that gold over a period of time. Mm -hmm. And hence, your returns are neither very high, neither very low, driven by cycles, but they kind of average out. 
so that's an important one to uh, keep in mind over long term gold continues to be a very solid safe haven for investors in fact uh, it's a old saying that if you want to save for your retirement for a month of your earnings you should save 1 ounce of gold okay which broadly is equal to 22000 rupees right. so that's the safest way of actually planning for your retirement it's a great inflation hedge hmm. all right so yeah. you said that the fed uh, rate hike has been priced in as far as uh, gold is concerned but to what extent can you see how much more of a downside can we see uh, in gold see another 78% just because of the pressure of shorts is very likely i mean okay. it 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 can happen in in a month it can happen in a week it can happen in 3 months it does not matter so i would not be surprised to see a level of 1000 for example okay but what i'm saying is gold is for me uh, at least for our clients it's not a trading asset class right so i would not recommend going short gold and then trying to buy and trying to you know flip i would rather say that look at it as an opportunity if it comes to close to 1000 which means in uh, maybe rupee terms around 22000 mm-hmm. 23000 it might be a great time to accumulate from a 8 10 year 20 year point of view All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks, Nitin, very much thank for joining you, thank us. Thank you, thank you, Avni. So, key takeaway being use this fall in gold prices to, in fact, start accumulating gold at this point. With that, it's a wrap on this episode of Wealth Manager. To catch expert opinions and views on how to make your money work for you, log on to btvin.com/wealthmanager. If you have any queries or comments, do write in to us on wealthmanager at btvin.com. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.